Hey guys, welcome to the Dashing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about very, very interesting thing. So recently, what I did is I basically asked, uh, you know, um, I'm already taking couple of automation tester as well as manual tester blueprint batches, right? Where I asked, like, I, from from a manual tester as well as say freshers, like, what are the extra things that you can do so that you get a higher salary, you get a more visibility in your project. So in this video, we are going to discuss about that, and that's the result of a survey, right? As well as I'm going to give you a Google Doc which contains more than 87 plus extra things that you can do as a manual tester to gain some respect. Trust me, this is one of the important things that we have come up and few of them, I think, which are very, very important things a manual tester can do extra. I'm going to discuss about here. All right, disclaimer, watch this video in 1.2x or 5x. Let's go quickly and complete the video because this is going to be a, one of the important thing in your career, even as a fresher, as well as a manual tester or an automation tester. These things you can implement or you can basically do to gain a respect as well as get a salary hack and more visibility into the project. All right, so let's get started. First thing that you can do extra apart from see, there are a number of things which are expected from a manual tester that we already know. Okay, manual tester have to create a test plan, test cases, they have to report work and other extra extra things that we are all agree. But what about the knowledge sharing part? Can you do some of the knowledge sharing and lead a team? If you are a person that can lead the team or you can take more responsibility, definitely this extra thing will add more responsive, more uh, visibility in the eye of your manager. And definitely you will get a good salary afterwards. Okay, that's what I have done also. So here, if I talk about knowledge sharing and leading a team is important. Don't be shy on this. If you are a manual tester, try to basically take more responsibility by talking to your manager. Okay, I can do these things. I can basically share my knowledge also, whatever that I have learned. Trust me, it works well. You can help your PMs in requirements. You can find the gaps. If there are gaps there in the requirement, you can help them because see, let me tell you a very important thing. Okay. Let me tell you my story. Okay. So there was a new PM basically who joined us in one of my company and uh, he was unaware about the couple of projects. He was basically bringing a new feature at the time, right? So what I did is I basically as a manual tester, it's my responsibility that I basically give him a proper requirement. So I work with him. I basically come up with a proper requirement, which basically recognized by the PM also. Okay, so that extra thing that you can do and trust me, trust me, it works very well. I got a very good recognition as well as there's some salary hike also because I took responsibility. I basically helped my PMs and my stakeholders. Okay, so that thing that you can do also. See, another thing that you can do is you can help them by creating a video tutorials, more adding more documentation, right? Here is the thing that you can do. Documenting your process for a future releases that you can do as a manual tester. Trust me, it is one of the important thing and which is missing. Even if you're in your company, right? It is not required to have documentation. They are more agile in nature. Trust me, these documentations, whatever that you are doing right for your future releases, I generally created what something called as application testing document. How you can basically test this application and how I have done it, right? So you can create that. It's nothing but a step-by-step -step Google doc that I have created, which will be helpful. Suppose I'm not there. It will be helpful for PM also, as well as the developers also, if they want to test it out some other things and it works very well. Okay. So that you can do. You can help them in syncing process. You can be a scrum master who can basically uh, resolve the blockers. If there are blockers, right, you can help them. You can basically tell them to collaborate more. This is one of the important thing as a manual tester you can do. So freshers pay attention whenever uh, there is a collaboration required. Suppose there is a bug. So generally what manual testers are doing is they, they just raise a bug and they forget about it, right? So developer will fix it. So there is a gap that you can fulfill by using something called as collaboration meetings. You can have a dev sync ups. You, have, you can have QA sign and other things as a extra you can add it to your process okay so you can find the requirement gaps as well as design problems that i think which you can you should be doing it you can improve the documentation as well as you can learn coding and help your automation team this is what i have done and this is how i started so let me tell you like how i was able to switch from manual to automation this is one of the reason what i did is i was a manual tester there right so i was basically giving them a automation scenario that you should automate this after that one of the scenario that i automated automatically by learning some of the coding initially it was a very bad code but trust me at that time it was working fine so that's how my journey towards automation started so doing extra thing is very very important for you as a manual tester so that you gain more respect you gain more visibility and basically people will trust you more rest of the reasons you can read it here so there is a google doc 
Well, there's a full Google Doc where people have written it, right? Suggestions to the team. You can help in designs also. You can basically monitor the process. You can implement more process and other things that I will recommend you to read more. Okay. So I hope you have got some value from this video. These are the things that you can do extra as a manual tester to basically gain respect as well as salary hike and more visibility. This has worked for me. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If it was helpful, just give me a thumbs up and comment down. Yes, it was a helpful video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is your host Pramod.